Amidst a heat wave, local hospitals are seeing more patients with heat-related illnesses. That's right. With no relief in sight, experts are worried the numbers will continue to climb. Fox 44's PJ Hessner asked our local hospitals how they've been faring. PJ, what did you find out? Thanks, MG. Well, the Ascension Providence ER has seen an increase in heat-related illnesses of both heat exhaustion and heat stroke. The Central Texas heat can be extremely dangerous. Doctors say to look out for symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Symptoms of heat exhaustion include dizziness, excessive sweating, cold and clammy skin, and muscle cramps. If you ignore these symptoms, it could lead to a heat stroke, which is more severe and can be fatal. Those symptoms include no sweating, confusion, nausea or vomiting, and a rapid pulse. But there's also a third, lesser known, heat, is, heat illness, also known as rhabdomoralysis. People are exerting themselves, um, they're getting dehydrated, and then they're, essentially their muscle starts to break down. And so we see that a lot during two a days for football. Dr. Higginbotham also says to keep an eye out for small children in the heat for too long, especially if they're in a car. And the heat is especially taking a toll on those who work outside. Keep in mind, yard workers, roofers, garbage men, or anyone working outside, offer them a water bottle if you can spare one. In the studio, PJ Hessner, Fox 44 News.